On November 19, 2024, General Dynamics European Land Systems, DELS, officially delivered the first M3 amphibious bridge and ferry system to the Swedish Defense Material Administration, SDMA. The handover ceremony took place in Kaiserslautern, Germany, marking the beginning of a significant contract to supply Sweden with a total of 12 M3 systems, locally known as Amphibibro 400. The contract also includes supplementary equipment to upgrade Sweden's existing improved ribbon bridge, IRB, called Daxbro 300, enhancing interoperability between the two systems. The M3 amphibious system is designed for rapid deployment and versatile use, functioning as both a bridge and a ferry. It is capable of supporting vehicles up to MLC-85, tracked, and MLC-132 wheeled, including heavy military equipment like the Leopard 2 and M1A2 Abrams battle tanks. Thanks to its modular design, the M3 system can be quickly assembled, with a maximum setup time of 10 minutes for a 100-meter bridge. Additionally, the M3 is designed to work in tandem with other NATO standard systems, such as the IRB and the Standard Ribbon Bridge SRB, using coupling adapters to ensure seamless interoperability. This acquisition will allow the Swedish Army to cross obstacles up to 400 meters wide once the full fleet is operational. This move aligns Sweden's capabilities with those of NATO allies like Germany and the United Kingdom, which also operate the M3 system. Sweden's decision to procure the M3 follows successful testing of the system in Arctic conditions. While initial procurement was delayed due to financial constraints and shifting priorities, these tests helped refine the system for deployment in northern climates. The M3 system is powered by a diesel engine that offers a range of up to 750 km on land and a top speed of 80 km per hour. For water operations, the system uses pump jets for propulsion, allowing it to reach speeds of up to 14 km per hour. The system's pontoons, which deploy from the vehicle's sides, enable amphibious operations. Additionally, the system is designed to be operated by a two-person crew, thanks to its automation features that reduce manpower requirements. The M3 system has already proven its worth in various NATO and allied nations, including the United States, Germany, the United Kingdom, Canada, South Korea, Brazil, the Netherlands, and Australia. It has seen action in both training exercises and operational scenarios, such as the Iraq War, where it played a key role in river crossings during British operations at the Shat al Basra waterway and the Ramela oil fields. The M3 was also featured prominently in NATO's Anaconda 2016 exercise, where a combined German and British unit constructed a 350 meter floating bridge over the Vistula River in just 35 minutes. This new acquisition of the M3 system aligns with Sweden's recent membership in NATO and reflects its strategic focus on strengthening interoperability with its allies. With additional systems expected to be delivered as part of the ongoing contract, Sweden's gap-crossing capabilities and operational readiness will continue to improve, ensuring it meets NATO standards for joint operations. As the M3 system continues to be deployed in Sweden, it supports the nation's growing commitment to enhancing its military infrastructure and operational effectiveness within NATO. The project underscores Sweden's forward-thinking approach in maintaining strong defense capabilities in line with evolving security demands.